Okay, so the first um, question is asking you to find the value of uh, 140 okay, multiplied by 4000. So 140 multiplied by 4000 is equal to, we're going to bring all the zeros together, 3 zero multiplied by 4. Okay, and then, uh, so we just focus on 14 times 4. Gonna give me 16 and 56. Okay, so it's gonna give me 56, and there's four zeros behind. Just write down the zeros. The answer is number three. Let's move on to question two. Okay, but before we do that, I need to make some adjustment because there's something wrong with my. Okay, question 2. They want you to find the value of 7 over 10, subtract 1 over 4 plus 1 over 10. So what you can do is you can change all the denominator to become the same. Okay, in this case, we can change all of them to become 20, the lowest common multiple. So the 10 over here, I'll multiply by 2. The 4, I'll multiply by 5. And the 10, I'll multiply by 2 again. This is going to give me 14 over 20, minus 5 over 20, plus 2 over 20 which is going to give me 14 minus 5 is going to give me 9 9 plus 2 which will give me a 11 over 20 okay 11 over 20 the answer is number 2 question 3 mr shures had 7 over 9 kg of sugar he used one third of it to bake some cookies how much sugar did he use so if you want to find one third of 7 over 9 kg You just need to multiply them Okay, in this case there's no reduction So I'm going to multiply across Which is going to give me 7 over 27 kg Okay, the answer is Number one. Question four in the number line below, what is the value indicated by the arrow, which is this one over here? Okay, in this question, we can see that the arrow is actually the midpoint between three over eight and three over four. So what you can do is uh, there is a shortcut which you can use if you want to find the midpoint between any two values. You just need to add the two values together okay, and then divide it by two so the first step i'm going to add them together change them to common denominator okay which is going to give me a nine over eight next step i'm going to divide them by two which basically will become a 9 over 8 multiplied by half. Okay, no reducing to be done, so it's 9 over 16. Answer is number 4. Question 5. 7 over 8 of a cake was shared equally among 6 people. What fraction of the cake did each people receive? So in this case, okay, 7 over 8 of the cake, you want to share it with 6 people, so you divide it by 6. Same thing, 7 over 8. We're going to change it to a multiply 1 over 6. In this case also, no reducing to be done. So it will be 7 over 8 times 6, 48. Answer is number two. Question six. 
they want you to find the value of 0 0.1 divided by 100 0 0.1 divided by 100 you can use the jumping bean method if it's division your decimal will jump to the left okay two zeros behind so you jump twice decimal and here so it's a 0 0.001 the point is your one answer is number three. Question seven, they want you to express uh, 2045 cm in meter. So remember, if you want to convert cm to meter, okay, you have to divide it by 100. So dividing this by 100, the decimal is all the way behind. You're going to jump twice. Okay, the answer will be 20.45 meter. Five, four, five. Answer is number three. Question eight. There are fifty pupils in a class. Thirty-two of them are boys. So, what percentage of the pupils are boys? So, thirty-two out of fifty pupils. Right. You want to change it to percentage. You can change the denominator to one hundred, which will give you a sixty-four over one hundred. So this is 64%. Question 9, they want you to simplify 24Q minus 8Q plus 3Q. So we got to do from left to right. 24 minus 8 okay, will give me 16Q plus 3Q. It's going to give me a 19Q. Answer is number 1. Question 10, which of the following is likely to be the mass of a 15 cm plastic ruler? Okay, the answer should be number 4. Okay, if you choose uh, some, other, some other answers, like if you choose 5 kg, then your ruler is probably a brick, right? Try not to bring a brick to school. If you choose 50 kg, don't know why is that, okay? Something that's gonna be very heavy. If you're bringing something that's 500 grams, Probably carrying a weapon. It's not a plastic ruler. Okay, so a plastic ruler is about 5 grams. Question 11. Look at the pattern below. So in this case, um, 3, 6, 9, 12. We can see that uh, 3, 6, 9, followed by 12. 4, 8. So this one, I suppose, is following the 4 time table right for it this should be a 12 5 10 15 this is the 5 time table right this should be a 20 let's just confirm 6 12 18 and 24 okay 7 14 and 1 28 so they want you to find the sum of the two missing numbers which is 12 plus 20 gonna be 32 answer is number four question 12 sam was given some ribbon to tie two parcels he used seven over eight meter of ribbon to tie the first parcel and the length of the ribbon used for the second parcel was twice the length of the ribbon used for the first parcel how many meters of ribbon did he use in all so the first parcel he used 7 over 8 meter right okay the second parcel he used okay, twice the amount which means that i need to use 7 over 8 times 2 which is a 4 can divide by 4 which will give me a 7 over 4 right now i need to add them together 7 over 8 plus 7 over 4 change to common denominator which is going to give me 21 over 8 and change it into a mix okay i don't need to change it into a mix because uh, the answers are all in improper okay answer is number four question 13 in the music store 250 cds were sold in january 
in February, uh, 150 CDs were sold. What's the percentage decrease in the sale of the CDs? So in Jan, it's 250. In Feb, it is 150. Okay, the decrease is 100, right? Okay, so to find the percentage decrease, we need to use a decrease divided by the original, then multiply by 100. I'm gonna do some reducing, divided by 25, which will give me a 4, 4 times 10, which will be 40%. Answer is number 3. Question 14, the solid below is built with 2cm cubes. How many more of such cubes must be added to form a bigger solid measuring 8cm by 8cm by 8cm? Okay, we can see that in the figure below, okay, this is 8cm. If I want to form a solid that is measuring 8 by 8 by 8, okay, I need 4 times 4 times 4 cubes which is going to give me 64 cubes this is the cubes needed okay but now I already have how many cubes are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay, I already have 8 so which means that 64 minus 8 will give me 56 I'm gonna need okay, how many more 56 more answer is number one question 15 the total number of children in tennis chess and drama club and scouts was 200 table below shows the number of children in tennis chess and drama club Okay, we are missing scouts, so we can actually calculate that using 200 minus the total. So the total over here would be 45 plus 60 plus 50, which will give me 155. 200 minus 155 is going to give me 45, so there are 45 scouts. Which bar graph best represents the information in the table? So let's take a look at number 1. Okay, the number of scouts and tennis are the same, so number one is wrong, which means that this is also wrong. Okay, three and four they have the same tennis and scout, so we got to compare uh, chess and drama club. There's more people in the chess club, which means that number four is wrong. Answer is number three. Question 16, find the value of the following, 70 plus the bracket of 6 plus 8 divided by 2, closing the bracket and then plus another 5. So we need to simplify the bracket first. 70 plus, okay inside the bracket there is a plus and divide so we're going to solve the divide first. 8 divided by 2 will give me a 4, 6 plus 4 plus 5 which will give me 70 plus 10 okay is this a divide or a plus this looks like a divide I'm gonna change it to divide Okay, so I'm gonna do the divide first, which will give me a 7 plus 5. This is gonna give me a 12. Question 17. A shopkeeper filled some empty bottles with 24 liters of barley drink. He filled each bottle with 2 third liters of barley drink. So how many bottles did he fill? So we're going to use 24 liters divided by 2 thirds because this is the amount of um, barley drink in each bottle. Do the same thing. 24 
I'm gonna flip this over, it becomes a multiply by 3 over 2. Can give it a denominator of over 1. Simplify, it becomes a 12 and a 1. Which is gonna give you 12 times 3, 36. Okay, there are 36 bottles. Question 18. Andrew had $280. He spent 40% of it on the watch. How much did he spend on the watch? So we want to find what is 40% of $280. We're gonna simplify this, reduce first. It's gonna give me 28 times 4. 28 times 4. I'm gonna do some working. Don't want to risk any careless mistake. To 11 okay so it will be 112 dollars question 19 find the missing value in the equation so 42 divided by something will give you a 6 in this case you're gonna ask yourself what multiply by 6 will give you back the 42 the answer is a 7 Question 20, find the value of 12 plus 3n over 2, given that the value of n is 6. We're going to replace the 3, the n with a 6 over 2. This is going to give me 12 plus 18 over 2, which is going to give me 30 over 2. 30 over 2 is a 15. Question 21, at first, Josh and May had some marbles each. So after Josh gave a quarter of his marbles to May, May had three times as many marbles as him. May then gave Josh 12 marbles. In the end, each of them had an equal number of marbles. How many marbles did May have at first? In this question, we're going to draw a model. Starting with um, May had three times as many marbles as Josh. So draw one block over here. And another three blocks here. Let me cut it up. Okay, now, um, Josh gave a quarter of his marbles to May, which means that he is left with three quarter, right? Okay, let me label this first Josh and May. So I'm going to cut this into three units. Okay, three parts over here. Parts, and I'm going to cut everything else into the same. Okay, which means that this block over here came from Josh, right? Okay, now I'm gonna remove this. Okay, next, May then gave Josh 12 marbles and in the end they had an equal, okay, which means that they should have the same. Look at the extra over here, there are 6 blocks, 6 units which means that three of them here will be given to Josh, right? So that they have the same amount. Okay, once you realize this, it means that three units is equal to the 12 that's given over. We're going to find one unit first, and then we're going to go back to the question, how many marbles did May have at first? So May have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight units at first. Eight units is thirty-two. Move on to question twenty-two. How many ways can the digits two, three, five, and zero be arranged into four-digit numbers that are multiples of five? 
for each number each digit can only be used once okay so in order for it to be a multiple of five the last digit must be either a zero or a five right so let us start off with the zero two three five zero we are gonna slowly swap um two five three zero and i'm gonna bring three in front three two five zero three five two zero i'm gonna bring the five in front next will be five three two zero and five two three zero this is all the possible um, combination that can give you multiples of five now let us uh, go into the digits that end with a uh, five i'm gonna start off with two three zero five okay and this will be sort them around three two zero five i'm gonna bring the zero to the middle which will give me a two zero three five a three zero two five okay i cannot bring the zero all the way to the front because that will make it a three digit number we want four digit numbers which means that all together there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay ten possible numbers question 23 mrs cheng wants to pack three quarter kg of flour into small packets each small packet contains one fifth kg of flour so at most how many of such small packets of flour can she pack so this is the total three over four kg each small packet will contain one fifth kg so we're gonna divide it by one fifth flip it over it's gonna give me a five over one there's nothing to reduce so this will give me a 15 over 4 change it into a mix it's gonna give me a 3 and 3 over 4 okay so which means that at most let's look at the whole number that's only um 3 I guess question 24 Joanne bought 40 chocolate tarts, some cheese tarts, and some blueberry tarts for her party. Each tart cost $2 and she paid $200 for all the tarts. Everyone in the party took two tarts each and there's no tarts left. So for each statement below is either true, false, or not possible, we're gonna put a tick. Let's do some calculation first because if each tart cost $2 and she paid $200, that means there are 100 tarts, right? Okay, and then everyone in the party took two tarts each and she bought 40 tarts altogether. Okay, which means that this is not tarts, this is dollars. cost two dollars and she paid 200 for all the tasks about 40 chocolate tarts some cheese tarts oh okay this is 40 chocolate okay this is the which means that there are um, 60 cheese and blueberry tarts okay, everyone in the party took two tarts each which means that if i use 100 divided by two there are 50 people in the party let's take a look at the statement there were 50 people in the party so this is true you have bought uh, six times as many cheese tarts as blueberry tarts so there are Mm, this is i would think that 60 cheese and blueberry joanne bought six times as many so 
increase is to blueberry will be 6 is to 1 which means that I have, to, I have to divide this by 7 and it's, it's not possible to divide it by 7 so this is false question 25 a file costs $1.20 more than a notebook a pen costs twice as much as the file the total cost of the three items is $11.60 what was the cost of the file so we're gonna write down some statement in the file we're gonna let it be since it's $1.20 more than a notebook it's gonna be one unit plus $1.20 the notebook is going to be one unit and then a pen costs twice as much as the file which means that the pen will be two unit plus 240 okay the total cost of the three item is $11.60 what's the cost of the file so we need to find uh, we need to remove the extra first which is these two okay, 11.60 minus away $3.60 gonna give me $8 and then uh, 4 unit is equals to $8 1 unit is gonna give me $2 since the file is 1 unit plus 120 so it's gonna be three dollars and twenty cent question 26 Tana had some hair clips 25% of her hair clips were blue she had 10 blue hair clips so how many hair clips did she have all together 25% is equal to 10 hair clips right so if you want to find 100% just need to multiply everything by 4 because 25 times 4 will give you 100% so this is gonna give me 40 there are 40 hair clips all together question 27 the monthly salary of Mr. Gill is the same each month in November Mr. Gill spent 1,600 uh, 1, of his monthly salary and saved the rest December he increased his spendings by 30% and his savings decreased by 50% so how much did he save in November okay for this I'm gonna draw a model here this is gonna represent his salary in November spend a $1,600 and he saved the rest okay in december he increased so i'm going to draw another bar which represents the same size his salary this is december he increased his spendings by 30 percent so we're going to find what is 30 percent of 1600 and so the two zeros is 16 times 30 I'm going to divide 16 times 3 here it's going to be Okay, which means that um, he increased by another $480 and his savings decreased by 50% which means that if we let this be 10 unit his savings in November this will be 5 units So we know that 
five unit is equals to 480 we just need to find what is one unit 480 divided by five is 96 and we just need to find what is 10 unit which is 960 960 is the amount he saved in November Question 28 The cost of 3 identical watches and 4 identical belts is $371 The cost of 3 such watches and 2 such belts is $298 so they want you to find the cost of one such belt. Write down the statement. Three watches and four belt is 371. Three watches and two belts is 298. Look at the statement. The only thing that is different is this the number of belt and the difference in the amount of money. Okay, which means that two belt is equals to 371 minus 298. 71. Do my subtraction here. $73 which means that one belt is 73 divided by 2 which is gonna be a 0.5 six dollars and fifty cent question 29 the mass of a pineapple is fkg the mass of a durian is twice as heavy as the pineapple the mass of a watermelon is 3 kg more than the mass of the durian what is the mass of the watermelon Give your answers in terms of F in the simplest form. We're gonna write down pineapple is equals to FKG. The mass of the durian is twice as heavy as the pineapple, which means that it's gonna be 2F. The mass of a watermelon is 3 kg more than the mass of the durian, which is 2F plus 3. Okay, so the mass of the watermelon is 2F plus 3. Question 30. Mrs. Lim had D meter of cloth. She used 2 meter to sew a blouse and she used the remaining cloth to sew four identical dresses. If Mrs. Lim had 22 meter of cloth, Find the length of cloth she used to make one dress. So which means that the D meter of cloth is 22 meter. Now I'm going to use um dress to make one dress. 22 minus 2 first to give me 20. And I'm gonna divide by 4. It's gonna give me 5 meter. Okay, that is the length of cloth used for one dress. Move on to paper 2, question 1. Suhaila and Rami went jogging at the park. Suhaila jogged 
one and one fifth kilometer and another two and one kilometer after resting for some time okay let me jump uh one and one quarter kilometer less than the total distance so high la job so how far did Rami jog? Okay, so we're gonna find the distance that Suhaila jog first. That will be one and one fifth plus two and one third. I'm gonna use a calculator to find out. Okay, this is gonna give me a 3n8 over 15. Okay, Rami jog a 1 and 1 quarter kilometer less than the total distance. So for Rami, I need to use 3 and 8 over 15 minus 1 and 1 over 4. which will give me 2 and 17 over 60 question 2 Susan had 3 liters of water she drank 3 over 7 of it how many liters of water did she drink? so we're gonna use we're gonna find 3 over 7 of 3 liter nothing to reduce so this is gonna give me 9 over 7 okay which is a uh, 1 and 2 over 7 liters 1 and 2, seven, two over 7 liters question 3 6 children took turns to sit on two swings from 2 p.m. to 2.45 p.m. Okay, which is 45 minutes. At any time, two children sat on the swings while the other four children watched. That's so sad. Each of them spent the same amount of time sitting on the swing. So how many minutes did each child sit on the swing? Okay, so let's write down the two that um, is on the swing. And the two that's watching. So let's put A, B on the swing first, and the rest. Okay, we're gonna let the six children be named A, B, C, D, E, F. To make things a bit easier. A, B will sit on the swing first, so C, D, E, F. It's gonna watch, and they're gonna be very sad. Now, uh, when we switch over, let's bring out C and D. A and B will go back, and E and F will remain there. Okay, the last pair that comes up will be E and F. And A, B, C, D will be watching E and F. So, all together, this is 45 minutes. So, they're asking you how many minutes did each child sit? On the swing so we can see that at any one time okay, each of them spend 15 minutes right because 45 divided by 3 will give you 15 15 15 okay so the answer is 15 minutes question 4 the usual price of a pair of shoes was $180. Sally bought it at a 25% discount during a sale. So how much did she pay for the pair of shoes after discount? If you bought it at a discount of... ...25%. Okay, that means the price is at 75%. We're going to find what is 75% of the usual price, which is 
do some reducing a or divided by five divided by five divided by two a nine so i need to do 15 times nine 135 dollars question five the table below shows the ages of four children whose age uh, whose age is the closest to the average age of the four children so we're gonna find the average first average age is 7 plus 9 plus 13 plus 10 and everything i would divide by 4 Gonna be 39 divided by 4. Nine point seven five. Just double check. So who is the closest? Um is it the Bernice or Danny? Okay, but 9.75 is closer to 10 than 9, which means that Danny is the one that is the closest. Question number 6. The thickness of a dictionary was 1 over 8 of the height of a table. The height of 3 such tables when stacked on top of one another is 21 over 8 meter. What is the total thickness of two such dictionaries? Okay, so let's write down thickness of the dictionary is one of it of the height, which means that um, the thickness is a uh, one unit, and then the height of the table is eight unit. Okay, the height of three such table, three table is equal to twenty one over eight which means that one table is equal to 21 over 8 divided by 3 which will give me 7 over 8 meter okay so if 8 unit is equal to 7 over 8 we can find what is one unit by dividing this by eight. Okay, but since we want to find the uh, which is the thickness of one dictionary, but since we want to find two such dictionary, okay, we can find two unit which is seven over eight divided by four. Seven over thirty-two meter. Question 7. At the pet shop, a quarter of the animals were cats, 45% of the animals were dogs, 18% of the animals were rabbits, and the rest were hamsters. There were 24 hamsters. How many animals were there at the pet shop? Okay, so we know that cats are a quarter, which is 25%. Dogs are 45%. Rabbits are 18%. And the rest were hamster, which means that hamsters will be 100 minus of them, right? 25 minus 45 minus 18. which is equal to 12% which means that since there are 24 hamsters so 12% is equal to 24 how many animals were there at the pet shop we're gonna find what is 1% divided by 12 which will give me a 2 100% 
give me 200 question 8 a machine could produce 120,000 boxes of chocolates in 6 hours okay. after the machine was improved and upgraded the machine can now produce 9,000 more boxes of chocolates in every 2 hours at this new rate how many boxes of chocolates does the machine produce in 1 hour okay so in the old rate 120,000 is equals to 6 hours which means that if I want to find what is 2 hours I need to divide it by 3 120,000 divided by 3 give me 40,000 since it is improved and can produce 9,000 more boxes which means that for the new rate okay, in 2 hours they can produce 49,000 boxes which means that in 1 hour it's gonna be 49,000 divided by 2 okay, 49,000 divided by 2 24,500 boxes Question 9 Tank measuring 35 cm long 35 cm wide was filled with water to a height of 0 0.18 meter When 2.6 liters of water was added into the tank 850 ml of water overflow so what's the capacity of the tank so first of all we're gonna um, remove the amount of water that overflowed okay 2.6 liters is 2600 ml minus 850 gonna give me 1750 now I need to find the base area of the tank base area is 35 times 25 which will give me 875 now I'm gonna use 1750 divided by 875 find what is the increase in the height which is 2 cm which means that the height of the tank is 2 plus okay 0 0.18 meter is 18 cm which is 20 cm Okay, capacity of the tank would be the base area multiplied by height. Thirty five thousand ML. Question 10. Mr. Chua bought three identical pairs of socks and less than five identical pairs of shoes. The total cost of the socks were $75 and the average price of the items that he bought is $78.60. The total amount, I think the total amount that he spent on the shoes was a whole number, okay, in dollars. How many pairs of shoes did he buy? So in this question, we need to do, I think, a bit of guess and check. 
Okay, so um, I'm going to draw a model which represents um, this is going to represent the three socks. Okay, and the average price. So I'm going to draw a line here to cut into three items. This is the average, which is $78.60. Okay. But the total cost of the socks is $75, right? Which means that each sock actually costs $75. Okay, $75. $75, $75. Which means that this amount over here, seventy eight point six minus twenty five, fifty three point six, three point six. Okay, came from the shoes. I'm going to draw another box which represents the shoes. Okay. Okay, this is going to be the same size, but the problem is we do not know how many shoes. Okay, this tree is going to go into the number of shoes, which is the average. This is 78.6, which means that the first thing that I need to do is 53.6 multiplied by 3 equals to 160.8. Okay, so remember all these came from the shoes I highlight this part it came from the shoes which means that if i slowly add the average which is 78.6 in okay 78.6 i should get a whole number right okay the only time when I'm gonna get a whole number is when I have two pairs of shoes because if I add another one okay I'm gonna get a decimal okay so which means that we're gonna have uh, two pairs of shoes now they want us to find what was the average price of the shoes Okay, if I calculate this, it's going to give me the total price of the two shoes. Which is $318. So to find the average price of the shoes, I use 318 divided by 2. Which is going to give me $159. Question 11, Wei Yan had some marbles at first, he gave 3 over 8 of them to his friends and 5 over 7 of the remaining mar uh, marbles to his brother. His cousin then gave him 408 marbles, in the end he had twice as many marbles as he had at first. So how many marbles did Wei Yan have at first? I'm gonna draw a model for this. He gave three over eight of them to his friends. So I'm gonna draw a block which represents the number of marbles he had at first. Cut it into eight blocks. Okay. 
which means that all these were given to his friends. Now, out of the remaining blocks, so I'm gonna draw another shape below. Here, this is the remaining block. Okay, 5 over 7 of the remaining blocks are remaining marbles to his brother which means that I need to cut this into 7 blocks. Okay, um, not very even. Let's Or five this brother okay so this is what he's left so if you compare the remaining this is seven blocks over here and this is one two three four five okay we need to make them into the same which means that i need to cut it into 35 blocks but i'm not gonna do that because I just need to cut it into five units, right? So this is basically five units. Five units. All of them are gonna be five units. And this one, all of them is gonna be seven units. Okay, so 7 times 5 will give you 35 and over here also 7 times 5 will give me 35. I'm going to fill up the rest 7 units. Okay, so his cousin gave him 408 marbles and in the end he had twice as many marbles he had at first. Which means that at first... How many units does it have? 7 times 8, which is 56 units. Okay, and in the end, okay, he's left with. Ten units. In the end, he had twice. As many marbles as he had at first, which is 56 times 2, which is 112 unit. A, which means that... One, one, two unit minus what's left is equal to the 408. One, one, two unit is 408, and we found that one unit is equal to 4. Okay, they're asking for how many marbles did Wei Yan have at first. At first, he's got 6 units. So 56 units is equal to 224 marbles. Question 12. At a concert, 45% of the people were adults. One fifth of the remaining people were girls, and there were 660 more boys than girls. Okay, so how many people were at the concert? If adults 
it goes to 45 percent which means that the children will be 55 percent now one fifth of the remaining people were girls which means that one fifth of 55 percent are girls which will give me divided by 5 divided by 5 11 percent okay this is girls which means that boys will be 55 minus 11 which is 44 percent Okay, there are 660 more boys than girls, which means that 44% minus 11% is equal to the 660. 33% is 660. So we can now find what is 1%. 660 divided by 33. Give me 20 and find 100% there are 2000 people at the concert question 13 baker baked 300 cookies 60% of the cookies baked were chocolate chip cookies and the rest were lychee cookies some of the chocolate chip cookies were sold and now the percentage of the chocolate chip cookies decreased to 40% of the remaining cookies how many chocolate chip cookies were sold so there's 300 cookies 60% of the cookies were chocolate chip we can find out exactly how many chocolate chip cookies are there 60% of the 300 cookies will give me 180 so this is the chocolate chip mm, okay which means that the lychee will be 120 lychee okay some of the chocolate chip cookies were sold and now the percentage of the chocolate chip cookies decreased to 40 percent if chocolate chip is 40 percent which means that the lychee will be 60% okay. lychee is the uh, the number of lychee did not change okay, before and after which means that we can let 60% be equal to the 120 lychee and we can find what is 1% which is 2 and um, if we want to find the chocolate chip which is 40% that will be 80 okay which means that um, how many chocolate chip cookies were sold 180 minus 80 will be 100 sold Question 14. Amy had 10 Y dollars. She had $24 less than Cindy. Linda had half as much as Amy. They bought a present which cost 4Y plus $5 for their friend. How much did they have all together at first? Give your answer in terms of Y in the simplest form. So I'm gonna write down Amy. At 10 Y. Cindy, okay, Amy had $24 less than Cindy, which means that Cindy will be 10 Y plus 24. Linda okay, had half as much as Amy, which means that Linda is 5 Y. The total will be 10 plus 10 plus 5, 25 Y plus 24 dollars. 
This is for part A. 25Y plus 24. Part B, if y equals to 7, how much did they have in total after buying the present? Okay, so the present cost 4y plus $5. So I'm going to change it into amount. y is 7. which is going to give me 28 plus 5. Now I'm going to change this into the exact amount also, which will be 25 multiplied by 7 plus 24. Hundred and ninety nine, which means that one nine nine subtract thirty three is equals to present, which hundred and sixty six dollars. Question 15, in the figure, okay, A, B, G, F is a rhombus, so this is A, B, G, F. B, C, D, G is a parallelogram, and B, D, E, F is a trapezium. A, B, C, and A, B, C, and F, G, D are straight lines. B, D, and F, E are parallel to each other, so I'm going to add in the arrows. A, F, B is equal to 27, which is here, and 25, which is here, and 83, which is here. Okay, they will ask you to find D, B, G. D, B, G is this one. <clears throat> Since we know that this is a rhombus, so we know that this is 27. Okay, this angle over here is also 27 because a rhombus, these two angles are the same. So to find the first answer, we just need to use 180 minus the 227 and minus the 25. will give you 101 degree. Next, I got to find DEF. DEF, which is this. Okay, this is 25. Okay, because um, this is a parallelogram, so these two are also parallel. So once I find this, uh, I can use 180 minus 83 minus 25. Okay, because uh, this is the interior angle. Okay, the two angles between uh, two parallel lines will add up to become 180. which will give me a 
Version 16. The table below shows the number of pupils who are left-handed in a school. The number of pupils who are right-handed is not shown in the table. The ratio of the number of boys who are left-handed to the number of boys who are right-handed is... So the boys... Left hand is to right hand is... 2 is to... 33. Since there are 48 boys which are left-handed, which means that I can find the number of right-handed boys, which is the answer for part A. Seven hundred and ninety two. In part B, ninety five percent of the pupils are right handed. What is the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys to the total number of pupils? Give your answer in the simplest form. If 95% of the pupils are right-handed, it means that 5% are left-handed, which is equal to 48 plus 42. Okay, so 5% is equal to 90. I need to find what is... Hundred percent. One thousand eight hundred. Now let us find how many um girls are right handed. Okay, minus seven two minus 90, 918. So they want me to find the ratio of the number of girls to the boys to the total. Okay, girls will be 918 plus 42, which is 960. Boys will be 792 plus 48, 840. The total is 1,800. We are going to slowly change it into the simplest form. Okay, so the ratio is 8 is to 7 is to 15. The answer for part B. The answer for part A is 7, 9, 2. Move on to part C. Some girls are then transferred into the school from another school. Did the percentage of boys who are right-handed increase, decrease, or remain the same? So the number of boys at first would be 792. The total is 1,800, right? Okay, so if there are more girls being transferred into the school, which means that the denominator will increase, right? Because the total number of students will increase. Okay, that will also means that the percentage will decrease. So the percentage will decrease.
Question 17. Mrs. Lau had some cloth which she had cut into identical right-angled isosceles triangles. Each triangular piece of cloth had an area of 36 cm square. We then sewed them into then sewed this into uh, the triangles onto the piece of square cloth as shown below. We continued to sew this in triangular pieces of cloth onto the square piece of cloth without any overlap. No parts of any of the triangular piece of cloth was outside of the square piece of cloth. So how many such triangular pieces of cloth did she sew to cover one face of the square piece of cloth completely? Okay, so this is a square piece of cloth which means that each side should have four of the triangular piece of cloth. I'm going to try and draw everything in. Let me first um, mark out some lines. This will go straight. Gonna draw another line. Okay, so this is um, how it's going to look like. Now we're going to count the number of triangular cloth. So before we count, let us um, draw it into segments.
Okay, I think uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use the highlighter and highlight this part. I like this part here. Okay, so the innermost layer. That's four. Okay, and then the next layer. There is. 3 times 4 which is 12 in the I'll call this the third layer there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5 times 4 okay. and in the outermost layer There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times four. We are going to add them all together, which will give me sixty four of them. Okay, so. How many of such triangular pieces of cloth did she use to cover one completely, which is 64. Next, we need to find what is the parameter of the square piece of cloth. So we're going to find what is the area first. Okay, 2,304 cm square. Next, we're gonna square root it. Okay, which will give me 48 cm. It means that the length of one side is 48 cm. So to find the parameter, we just need to use one side multiplied by 4. One hundred and ninety-two cm. Okay, so this is the last question for paper 2.